Hello and welcome to Infinity. Here are three ways of doing a vignette. The simplest way is to use the filter that is built in. You can go as in all things via layer, new life filter layer, colors and then vignette there or as I prefer to go down here to that double triangle, click on that and it's exactly the same thing straight away there without all those various other clickings. Right, the typical way thing you do now is to get these things going, is to figure out where it is first. So if you turn the exposure all the way down, you can see where the darkness is. And then you then play around with the scale and the shape to get it to match in with the picture. To give it approximately where it is, because the next thing you do is turn the hardness down, which is going to make it softer, which makes it appear to get smaller. So you're then going to play with the scale again to make it bigger. So you get just get that darkening around the edges which you have in a vignette. And afterwards you adjust the exposure to where you want it to be and then go back to play with these others again to get the final result. So that's quite easy. Another thing you can do, another way of doing a vignette, is to use the FX. So if I go to the FX here, and go to gradient overlay and click on the gradient overlay and also the checkbox I can create a gradient here just by going to these shapes here linear say elliptical and then you can see the shape that's appearing there but to make it blend through I have to go to the blend mode at the top here and go down to one of the things like overlay or soft light soft light often works then I can use these four control here here to make the size of it, the X and Y, uh, and also I can move it about the place, which I can't do with the other one. So I can move it left and right and things like that, so I can put the focus over the artist there. thing is though with this is, as you can see, it's kind of made that lighter because this lightness there has an effect. And so if I click on the gradient there, there's no way here. Oh yes, there maybe there is. If I click on that one there and hit an opacity, yes, I turn that one down. There we go. Now I darken the outside, but I haven't changed the colour of that because I've got made that there rather than white. I've made that to be transparent. There you go. So we can do it that way. If I click on the FX again uh, and unclick the gradient overlay and turn that off. And the last way to do it is very simple and, and the most flexible which is we go to add a pixel layer here, go to the paintbrush, make sure it's dark if necessary, go to the colours there. You can actually have another colour, but normally I paint it in black. And the reason I do it on the pixel layer is so I can always undo it in the future. And then you literally just paint around. Notice here I've got opacity, it's about halfway down, hard, hardness right the way down to zero. And I paint around here. Notice with this is if you paint this and then paint again it's going to get another sort of darkening layer because this there is set at 54%. Okay if I just undo this a couple of times to get rid of all that. If you turn this all the way up you can do it this way. You can paint on this and you're going to get quite dark areas here but don't worry about that because when you paint it all the way around here and and painted the bits in that you like. You can always repaint, but because you're 100%, you don't get that sort of, you know, doubling effect up. But then we use the opacity here of this layer to bring it down to something that's more, more suitable. So there we go. Three very easy ways to create a vignette on a photograph. Thank you very much for watching.